Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about Spring Data support in Spring Framework. Why do we need a Spring Data? And I have written a very simple example to demonstrate the Spring repository, the HP uh, JP repository. I'll show you the JP repository. Uh, before that, just want to give you an example. Say you have a model class like hotel and you want to persist that hotel in a traditional way we will be using a big code like this I just want to show you the boilerplate code example so in a traditional way before uh, before using the spring framework we will be having all these steps okay so we have to write the query and everything but after introduced uh, after spring introduced spring data it is really helpful with a very simple with sim with very less code, we can write the crude operations, create, retrieve, update, delete operations. So, just want to show you the uh, repository. I have a model class called hotel, and this is my table and the complete entity class I've written here. And I want to persist this class. I want to create hotel, retrieve hotel, update hotel, delete hotel. I can use jp repository if you see this jp repository it's from spring framework and what we have to do is we have to create an interface and we have to extend from this jp repository that's all we have to do only we have to create an interface and we have to extend from the spring jp repository and we have to give what I, what is the entity class that we want to de deal with and the identifier and in the configuration we have to enable JP repository and enable transaction management and in the and in the component scan we have to give the package details so that spring container will scan all the beans and register in the spring container so I'm using Derby database for the demo purpose so I'm going to start in my I have created the hotel repository internally so behind the scene what exactly spring does is uh, if you see here I have service IMPL I am auto wiring the hotel repository okay so if you see here I am going to just show you all the methods so these are the methods supported by the JP repository from spring framework okay delete delete all delete in, all in batch find also all these methods are supported by the spring jp repository basic code op operations okay so now what spring is going to do behind the scene is they are going to write an impl so they are going to write they are going to generate all the code okay so if you see this repository there are no code at all there is no method at all because we are extending from this jp repository we are going to get all the methods from here and for this Hotel repository that we uh, have customized here we are auto wiring when it is auto wiring it will have an IMPL injected here so the IMPL will be returned by the generated by the spring framework okay so, so let me create a hotel object okay I'm going to create a hotel object and I am going to show you how exactly it works so the main goal of spring data is to avoid boilerplate code in the DAO data access layer spring container is loading now I'm going to create a, the hotel object and using the JP repository I'm going to persist I have not written this save method at all. I am just using the spring feature. This save method I didn't write. Okay, I am just created. I have just created the hotel, and I am going to save the hotel using the hotel repository. I just want to show you this this class. Okay, so now I am going to create an entity object. Okay. So I'm going to get the auto service. 
if you see here this OTL repository has been injected by the spring framework if you see it's not a normal object it's a JDK it's a proxy object okay so what spring behind the screen does is it's creating the it's generating the code for all these methods as I told you it has a lot of methods in JP repository all these basic methods it generates a code based on the model class that we have defined here okay so we have not written any code it's going to persist it now so I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you how exactly it persisted So let me show you the uh, in the SQL book what is the result, whether it's persisted or not. If you see here, it is persisted. So we have created a hotel object, hotel uh, row in the table using JP repository. But I have not written any code for saving because we are using Spring Data JPA. So Spring Data, this is how it works. We don't have to write any code like. Uh, the traditional way we used to write boilerplate code now we can extend from jp repository and we can customize it hope this video is useful and informative thank you and all the best